Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video playing Kerbal Space Program. Um, it's a game where you have to try and build your rockets and hopefully get yourself into space. I've uh, seen Kurt play it, Kurt J Mac. Um, it looked really interesting, so I wanted to give it a try as well. Um, space is always been a big a big thing for me like a big fascination and uh, um, I uh, yeah I studied a bit bit of stuff and uh, you know as a physics teacher I do I do know a bit more than your av average person but I'm not I'm not like an expert on uh, aerodynamics or anything space related so this is going to be interesting now this is obviously the landing pad. Uh, I think this is the facility where we have to construct our rocket. So let's see, we get cockpits and stuff. I mean, it's a sandbox game, so you can pretty much do whatever you want, as far as I know. There's not really any objectives at the moment. Um, So like it says cost now, but I don't think there is actually any issue. So I don't know. Let's get one of these guys. So you can move around stuff, and add stuff. Um, so there's different tabs here. You got propulsion, control, stabilizer, structural, decoupler. That's probably going to be important. Multi point connector. Okay, so if you want to make something big uh, for the aerodynamics, utility. Uh, parachutes. Those are probably going to be very important. Mobility, in it. it's all, just all oh, tons of stuff and sciencey stuff. Antennas, measuring atmospheric pressure, turn thermometers. Um, okay. Well, these guys are the uh, yeah the astronauts, Kerbals is what they are called. And we probably should add a parachute. That's I think that makes makes sense. Um, I just want to do sort of a standard, just because I mean we haven't flown at all, so we should probably just try and get airborne and see if we can land again. Okay, so you get different fuel, liquid fuel. This is complicated, man. Wow. Solid fuel. Fuselage. Fuel tank. Or liquid fuel. Well, as far as I know, for for rockets, in order to, to get takeoff, um, like the first initial takeoff, you need solid fuel. So I don't know. Um, is it solid fuel? It's a lot of solid fuel. Engine cannot be shut down. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I guess we're gonna get one of these ones. Big, big solid fuel engines. This one is electrical. Liquid oxidizers. Oh, this is actually also solid fuel. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't strap myself in there, but what the hell. Let's add some wings. Okay. Well, that makes sense. 
makes sense. Tailfin. Don't have they don't have to be that big. What are these other buttons? The center of lift. The center of mass. The center of thrust. Okay. Uh, let's get another one of those. I have a feeling that this is going to be horrible. Oh. Actually, <laughs> I'm thinking ahead now. Like, I'm trying to think ahead. What's going to happen? We're going to. Um, I mean, this. I think this is going to work with, with solid fuel. We're, we're going to get lift off. And we're going to fly high up. And then we're going to run out of fuel. <laughs> and then we're going to crash land. I mean, we have a parachute, but the parachute at the moment has to carry everything. So I, I'm I'm sorry because I, it would have probably been been hilarious. But I think I need that decoupler thing you <laughs> I noticed earlier. So let's actually get that. No newbie mistakes here, I think. Okay, so what are we gonna call this? Um, let's just call it the Kepler one. Now, this thing is not going to go airborne, though. No. I wish I knew like the uh, the name of that Austrian guy that jumped up really, really from really, really high atmosphere. He, uh, what was his name again? Baum something. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very bad with names of famous people. I always forget them. Let's just call it, uh, let's name it some, something unrelated. I mean, this is one of my uh, biggest inspirations Charles Darwin. So let's call it the Darwin Mark 1. Let's go. So we got. Save. Let's save it. Let's launch this baby. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay. Mm, okay. So what I've I've learned from watching Kurt play, or him play one episode, is that you have like the different tabs here, which are the different stages. So the first stage is uh, me activating my engine, and the second stage is decoupling. And then there's the parachute. So if I press space now, holy crap, we got lift off. So we can see our altitude. We can abort. This is our space guy, by the way. Eva. I'm not sure what that does. We'll find out. Jebediah. And we got our solid fuel. And <coughs> so far, so good. Let's not abort just yet. So we can speed up time and stuff. It's eating through the solid fuel though. And like now would be the point where you would switch the liquid fuel. Uh, but we don't have that. Like this is all we have at the moment. It's just a, a maiden flight in a way. So once we run out, uh, once I hit the space bar again, it should probably switch. You know, I mean, and decouple. So we are out of fuel now. So let's decouple. And Jebediah seems to look pretty happy oh we're spinning now that's you can control oh oh you can control with the keyboard um oh 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 oh, oh man i feel so <laughs> oh oh stop that oh crap okay okay this looks pretty good so we seem to be still gaining altitude um, so let's just, we're pretty high though, like 30,000 kilometers, that's pretty good. But we will probably soon start our descent. And I can see the, oh, this is our server, service speed. Uh, no, we're still going up. Uh, 
Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, you can spin as well. That's probably good. Oh. A good way to uh, to keep ourselves like a gyroscope. Let's see if we, yeah, there we go. <laughs> just a little bit. Let's just spin a little bit. Oh, crap. Spin. Oh. Okay, so now we're sort of stable. So we can use that to our advantage. He must be getting dizzy as hell though. But okay, so now we're dropping down, it seems. And I've got a parachute. We're going pretty fast though. Like we're we're going through the sound barrier at the moment. So we should probably activate that parachute, see what happens. Okay, so it didn't fall off. And we seem to be slowing down a bit. I hope I was fast enough though. Jeez, we're going fast. We might die horribly. I want Jebediah to survive though. Um, so like, I'm not sure how slow we have to be in order to, for the parachute to uh, um, to go out. Because it's just a drag parachute at the moment. It's just slowing us down. But it's not going to prevent us from smashing into the ground. We are still going really fast though. We're going like 500 kilometers an hour. I'm a bit worried. I'm starting to get a bit worried. I mean, is that parachute going to go out by itself? Three kilometers. Like, what altitude would it go? Now nah, we're slowing down. Okay, now three. It's meters per second, so times 3.6 is kilometers per hour. Per hour. Uh, so if I press space now again, okay, now I'm a bit worried. Uh, hello? Oh, it's automatic. Sweet. I thought I thought we were gonna die there. But wow. So that's been a successful launch. And apparently we're going to successfully land as well. So we can speed up time here. Poof. Oh. What do you know? We, we, we are alive. You're alive. So what's this Eva... Oh, you can see inside the, the capsule. You can look around. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, how do I get out of here now? Oh. Um, how do I switch perspective again? Oh, you can see how much electrical charge. That's... Hmm. Orbital map, staging. I want to change my perspective. I don't know how. Oh, we have throttle. <laughs> I have no idea what everything is, though. Can you actually press stuff? What do you know? How do I get out of here? Uh, I could just end the flight, I guess, but I want to learn how I can change my perspective, though. Orbital map. Oh, so this is the planet? This, oh, looks a bit like Africa, in a way, and then the rest... It's a weird, th it, it's not our planet, that's for sure. So there's the sun. Should probably not get too close once we're going in orbit. Um, I think we should just end the flight. So flight events, we got liftoff, then separated. 
and the total mission was seven minutes. We went up to 32,000 kilometers, highest speed 750 meters. Oh, that's a successful first mission. So, what can we do? I think we should probably just add more stages. So we got the uh, what you would call it the solid boosters. What am I adding now? Rechargeable battery rank now. So press delete. There we go. So we need another decopper thingy. Um, let's get some more fuel stuff. Let's see. Liquid fuel tank. Oh, it's a big one. That's also a big one. That's a small one. How much is, how much can you fit in there? Ninety. Let's get. Let's add uh, a liquid fuel thingy. Well, that's just a tank, though. Fuel tanks are useless if there isn't a liquid engine attached on there. Okay. Well, let's add a liquid engine. As simple as that. This is a liquid engine. Oh. So I can attach that. Oh, yeah. How is it then gonna detach though? Is that gonna happen automatically? I have no idea what I'm doing. Do I need this thing? Nah, I'm assuming that the game is not that stupid. I mean, you should be able to do it without this. It should be automatic. There we go. Um, so, I mean, baby steps, right? I'm just gonna see how high we can get, and then... I mean, aerodynamically, they went the, the last flight. These wings, I'm not sure if they helped. I, I could remove them, see what happens. Yeah. For science. Let's not call it the Mark 2, but let's call it the Mark 1.5. Because I don't think we're like doing this is probably not a good idea. But we'll we'll just see what happens. Save launch. I've not done any tutorials, so I'm like, I have no idea what's going to happen once we're in orbit. We'll, we'll, we'll just see. So apparently... Oh, they're now going to fire both at the same... Okay. I might, I might have needed a decoupler, I'm not sure. Let's speed up time a bit. Speed it up more. We're going really high, it's overheating a bit. Okay, so almost out of solid fuel. Now what? Okay, so we need the decoupler thingy. I see. Just speed time up, we're going down really, really fast. Don't really have to do anything. Trajectory looks very nice. Let's deploy parachute. I'm just speeding up the mission, man. We we've seen this. We've done this. We know how to do this. <coughs> okay. So, like we said, baby steps. Deploys. Still speeding pretty severely. Let's not click that again. Eva. 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 Ow. Oh, okay. Oh. Evacuate. Oh. Oh, how cute. 
Look at him. <laughs> he can jump. I have no idea what the control. Okay, he's walking. Jebediah Kerman. He has a pack fuel. He can grab onto stuff. He can let go. Sweet. How do you. Pressing buttons. Camera orbital, camera auto. Oh, he grabbed his jetpack. Oh! 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 Ow. <laughs> Apparently does not have enough fuel to... Okay, so E, you activate your... You get your jetpack. I think this just for... Uh, for once you're in orbit. Can't really use it here. Oh, wow. Okay, so we learned some stuff. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to do it with Mark II. And then I'm going to call this episode a wrap. But baby steps, man. We're making progress. I'm pretty happy. Um, so let's... End the flight. End the flight. <laughs> Collided into the surface. <laughs> I wonder if you can if you can add parachutes to those things as well, so you can. Oh shit! No, 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 not restart. I wanted to go to the vehicle assembly thingy. Um. Okay. So, but the uh, the wings we had weren't really necessary. That's something we've learned now. So let's go back to the structural decoupler. Um, yeah, let's take a look at parachutes again. Like, I doubt it, though. I'm, I'm not sure NASA, like, has recoverable I think that now they probably do would, would save so much money like I said man I'm not I'm not an aerospace genius but this helps I mean this 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 game sort of shows you the basics or at least can I just attach this somewhere no radial mount parachute Okay. Found by lying by the side of the road. <laughs> Landing gear. Let, let's just let's see if we can get back that uh, liquid fuel engine once we that, that's oh that's probably let's call this the mark 2 I think that will make sense docking port no we're not gonna get into space just yet battery Manufacturer Jebediah's Kerman's junkyard. Okay, well, let's just save this. Let's launch this. Clear the launch pad. We have an unlimited budget. It's no problem. It's no problem. We have this, comrades. We can do this. Okay, so we got three stages. First, no, no, no. This looks silly. Wait, wait a minute, what's going on here? Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. First, we're going to decouple that crap, and then, I mean, we're going to obviously start off with the... K 
can like oh yeah hey, that's one that one but now I'm not sure which one is the liquid fuel and which one's not the liquid fuel I'm guessing that <laughs> uh, let's move that there I don't know. We'll we are just gonna see what happens. So this is the flight plan. So I'm assuming this is solid. I'm not sure. Can I click that? Help? No. Oh, you can deactivate. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's just go. Just screw this. Um. Stage only. Well, in that case, I have selected the wrong fuel thingy, and we should have. Oh, we should select this one. No, it's still showing the other one. What the crap? Fifty-fifty. We're gonna die now. I'm not sure. Let's go. Okay, well, we screwed up. Switch them around, see what happens. Oh, crap. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let's end the flight. We made a mistake. Let's restart that. Let's do that again. So that's the liquid fuel. We learned something. That's good. Okay. So the idea is now, yes, that we are going to add a stage. And we're gonna first do, okay, if it makes sense. So let's go. Okay, so we got the uh, the solid fuel going off now. Altitude's climbing nicely. Uh, well, I don't think we're gonna get any. Oh, 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 oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Let's detach. Oh, we're not detaching. Oh crap. Let's detach again. Oh, the parachute worked. What do you know? And we have another parachute. Okay, so is that, is that gonna survive the fall though? No, it doesn't look like it. It might. Will it? Oh. Holy crap. Okay, so we did something wrong. Obviously. But I'm not sure how to fix it. But we did learn something because we we managed to somehow not get rid of our uh, liquid fuel tank burster thingy. So that's pretty sweet. And it's landing in the ocean, but we can pick that up. We can pick that up. It's making lots of noise though, wow. But I think that adding that parachute thingy sort of made us unstable, in a way. Oh, oh, weird noises. Okay. But yeah. We're good, it seems. We've done all the stages. We've made it. We're still alive. So guys, um, we are gonna. I I like this game. We I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this quite a lot. So I'm gonna do some more uh, some more playthroughs on this. But like always, man, give me feedback. Like if you if I'm doing something stupid, obviously tell me because some of you guys guys might have tried this game as well. But uh, yeah, leave some feedback, leave some love if you like this, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.